Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm at Mr. Lee's house, you know, the K-Man. Uh, today we're going to be putting an RBC on his RSX, uh, the Type S, I believe it's a K2082. So yeah, he has a nice RBC with uh, fuel injectors and everything. He'll be able to explain it all a little bit better than I can. Um, I can't remember exactly everything he put on it. But yeah, just a chill little day. Gonna put the RBC on and probably drive the... All right, so we get everything on the ground. I'm just gonna have Lee explain what he has done. Alrighty, so this is gonna be for all you folks that wanna put a RBC on a K20A2. All right, so first of all, there's like an extra flange piece on the K20Z3, K24s that comes out to like probably about here. It's like a water neck. So shave that off, take manifold gasket and you can match it, you know, and then cut it, you know, draw your line and cut it. So after that, should bolt right up. So you got your flange. So I would recommend OEM gasket. Um, it, it's, it's recommended, okay. Yeah. There's a reason you should use the OEM gasket. You know, thermal gasket's all right, but I don't feel like using RTV. Yeah. They always leak on me, so. I had a thermal gasket on my Prelude and the two-step made it melt and I had an intake leak. Exactly, so. yeah, yeah. And plus, yeah, the so you see pictures of people when they take it off, it's like combing into the runners of yeah. the head, dude. Like, That's not good. You don't <laughs> want that. So I'm gonna, so we're doing a different fuel rail. This is just like some cheapy eBay fuel rail, whatever. You need this piece. I think this is hybrid racing, but this is just stock, uh, stock fuel line adapter so you just put that little plastic clip on it pop your fuel line on you're good got a gauge tell me fuel pressure and then this is an adapter piece from hybrid racing it's like a specific thread this is your damper it's like a stock damper for the injectors so it it helps with the pulse i guess like uh synchronize it i guess i don't know you, you'd be fine without it. I'm not running it on my Civic right here. Okay. This is actually off my Civic. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there you piece. go. So uh, we're going to be doing RDX injectors. So nice. bumping up from 310 CC stock to 410 CC. Nice. I actually got a set in that RDX over there. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> we but, stole uh, them. <laughs> so this is just rye wire. Uh, you can buy these online. This is just uh, RDX injector to... Uh, RSX engine harness, uh, yes. K20A2 engine harness. Very cool. K20A2 style. So, come to here, <clears throat> I'm gonna be running a PRB style throttle body, right? So, K-tuned adapter, uh, adapter plate, sorry, and a thermal gasket in between that. Yeah. And then a port to 70 mil, because this, this came with a piece for the stock throttle body. Take it out, uh, mark it, fucking, Get Pulls yourself a nice little port going. And, uh, oh yeah, this is gonna be blocked off, this little barb for the brake booster. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and run that to the bottom. Just Very a quick good. little 6 a.m. to a barb. That's all there is to it, so. Nice and clean. Yep, yeah, and this is all shaved, so all these uh, brackets and stuff are gonna be shaved off. Just for cleanness on the, uh, on the top of the engine, you know. Just yeah, left great. The, yeah, just left the <clears throat> fuel rail mounts could have shaved it more but you know that's it we got a quick little bolt kit we're gonna throw on it you know these are probably gonna hold up a little better than what i'm using you yeah know, I, I saw these and i kind of splurged you probably don't <laughs> probably don't need it but yeah they tanks, this is style points guys yeah it's gonna look really good on yes, the rsx and then uh oh yeah sorry uh throttle body we're gonna be running skunk 2 pro series 70 mil with nice. a, another thermal gasket. Give us as much space as possible yeah. for maximum airflow, you know what I mean? But uh, heard good reviews about it. Should be a good throttle body. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be a freaking ripper, bro. Yeah, should pick up some horsepower for sure. Oh yeah, oh Over yeah. the stock manifold, yes. For sure. Old versus new. Yes sir, uh, we got, we're taking this old cruise control throttle body and ditching it. It's a sad day because cruise control is cool, but uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and swap this map sensor over to the manifold because that's RBC style and uh, blocked off the map sensor port on the throttle body. This is not coming with us. Fuck EVAP. <laughs> Sorry, frick EVAP, guys. A uh, little Acuity TPS, a little Hall Effect TPS. We'll swap that over and I am going to be running an idle air control valve. 
believe it or not, it idles smoother. But uh, here's your size comparison. 70 mil versus, uh, I believe it's either 62 or 64. Don't quote me. <laughs> yep. Thermal gasket versus paper gasket, you know, who wins? Mm -hmm. Last bolt right there. Look at this. Oh, You're not done yet, bro. Come oh. on, man. <laughs> One bolt. Fuck me. Hold on, guys. It smells like gasoline. Difficulties. Yeah, the gas line's off right there. I have not been paying attention for the last 10 All minutes. Right. Yep. Okay, we're taking the last bolt out now, boy. I've seen pictures of people uh with these really going into their runners but i haven't had it on there long enough for anything bad to happen but this was just a little hybrid racing uh thermal thermal gasket that we'll be putting the oem one two on. yeah it is pretty clean in there oem gasket part number right here you save it down boys that's what you're gonna need yes sir it's fucking better That thing looks sick. Wow. Got the spacer, the throttle body, everything's plumbed up, wired up, ready to go. Just gotta put the throttle cable on. Wow, I'm like stunned. It looks so good. What are your better thoughts, than, sir? A lot better than stock, man, honestly. Yeah. I mean the only thing I'm gonna miss is probably this. But uh maybe some sacrifices have to be made. Yeah, nah, I mean no maybe way. we can retrofit it somehow. Zip ties Stop. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. The floating. So I have to get a haircut and run around town real quick. It's hot outside, so we're gonna oh, yeah. take a little break anyways. So get back to it. Yeah, we'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I am back. When I stopped the video earlier, it was like three o'clock. It's like seven o'clock now. But the battery was super dead. Yeah, it was hot, so we decided to kind of stop, but battery was super dead so we're jumping it off right now and then we're gonna see what she do yes sir we're all buttoned up pretty happy about the way it looks that shit looks so clean yeah take a quick little polish on this polish on this i was gonna do the mounts but i gave up yeah <laughs> that's what he's talking about they're, to reach. yeah they're down in there but yeah so we're about to fire it up and see what she do so we can't jump start it he thinks it's the starter so we're gonna actually pop start it real quick See if that does the job. I didn't get it on video, but I, the K20 started up. All right, I guess I get to experience it before he does. Am I in third gear? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're live. All right, now I got to turn around. It's revving really smooth, actually. What the hell? Kind of expected it to be a little choppy. So it was. That, that's a power steering, I think. say I could hear a little bit of a vacuum something. I even said it on video. Oh, uh, yeah. It's probably just needs cleaned. Need some transmission fluid changed. Yeah, third gear felt a little not like, I don't know how to explain it. You feel any difference? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty smooth. Yeah, I feel like it was really smooth. Yeah, 
yeah, that was only 45 miles per hour. That RBC is fucking screaming. days later car sounds great runs good looks good um so we're just kind of gonna go over like a mod list of the car and i'm just gonna have lee just go over everything uh there's a there's a bunch of stuff done to this car so i'll let him uh have it. this is basically just a shell i picked up because i like the color so much so it's just an o2 shell did not come with the motor so i had an o4 in desert silver and I was able to keep the swap out of it, but got rid of the shell, you know. I've, that shell, you know, lived its life, but rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. So, motor out of it, 140K, motor transmission. So, we'll start off up top. This is a little DC5 Creations thing. You know, this is not necessary, but it looks cool. Billet aluminum, you know. Proves you're a man. Come on, guys. <laughs> Only way so, to do it. So, wrinkle red valve cover. It needs redone, whatever. It looks all right. Mm -hmm. uh, cheap oil cap. I'm going to put a new one soon. You saw us do this. I mean, I think I went over everything. Uh, yeah. Injectors, fuel rail, shit. Throttle body, 70 mil, whatever. The big It boy. sounds awesome, guys. We just have to adjust this a little. Uh, either the TPS, uh, idle air control valve, or the throttle stop. It's one of those. So, uh, moving on. We have a 1320 header, catless header, so like a tri -wi, whatever, good for mid-range. Looks sick uh, back there. Attached to that, we have a legitimate Mugen twin loop. It's real Mugen. All right, so 8th gen wheels, uh, we have 05, 06, but uh, we threw those on the 8th gen. They feel good for now. These wheels are the same, pretty much, like same size. I think the offset's different, something like that. It looked different when I threw them on the car. But, uh, all right, so, Engines held on by Hasport mounts. I believe this is either 62A or like 70A or something. It's not too crazy. It's a little vibrating, honestly, but uh, it's good for shifts. Yep. Come on, guys. So over here, we have the hybrid racing clearance upper radiator hose because when you snake a cold air, it kind of rubs on the factory mm -hmm. one because it goes over like this, kind of. So that, we got hybrid racing shifter bushings. And the transmission is a, sorry, the motor has an action clutch stage two. Mm -hmm. And just a replacement 15 pound flywheel. Nice. Feels great, uh, grips up. I'd recommend it, it's a full disc. Yeah, Guess when I uh, pop started it, it felt great. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, so that pretty much does it for engine. I mean, nothing too crazy. We got, BC Racing BR Series coilovers, stock strut bar. Uh, these are extreme low coilovers, so like you can kind of see it. Yeah, sort of. flat arm, you know, it's supposed to help with bump steer, is what they say. Like what he's saying is when they're mounted, when they're not the super lows, this tie rod end or inner tie rod will be more mm -hmm. angled up. Yeah, it would be raised. And yeah. as soon as you lower the car, it looks ridiculous and yeah. you get bump steer like crazy. So, uh, I thought that was a supercharged, like, yeah. something with a supercharger. Uh, so, front, front, everything is redone. I did hard race ball joints. I did, like, OEM and SK bearings. Mm -hmm. Did wheel, uh, wheel studs. Lower control arm bushings. I did energy suspension, so the nice. red ones. I mean, they're pretty stiff, but mm -hmm. uh, if I want to track the car, I want stiff. 
Yeah. So that's cool. And the the rear I had done up on my silver RSX, but this car I have yet to touch the rear. I have plenty of stuff. We might show it on camera, but it's all powder coated red. Yeah. Subframe brace, trailing arms, uh, everything. Yeah, that's <laughs> It'll much be it, sick, honestly. But uh, yeah. It's a nice little car. Yeah, I love the same. We just kind of tweak it a little, and it'll be a nice little uh, daily slash weekend warrior slash track monster. I don't know. Yeah. You guys heard it in the video. I'm Sounds nice now. Yeah. Yeah, this, from what you were saying, this car is going to be kind of your track car. Yes. And then my, my prelude is going to be my track car. So 